Okay then my friends, so we want to start collecting user input and the way we normally do that is by using form fields, right? For example, a text input field so a user could type text into it. Now, like I said in the last lesson, there's always more than one way of doing something in Flutter and that's especially true when it comes to form fields and user input. So we're going to look at a couple of different ways we can create a text input field and gather any text that's been entered into it by a user. The first way we're going to do this is by just using a simple text field widget on its own. Now, if I was just to save this right now as is, we should see a text field or at least a line down here, which is a text field that we can click into. And then we see the keyboard pop up. We can start typing something into it. So that is your bog standard text field right there. Now inside this widget, we can pass through a few different arguments to customize how this text field works. For example, I could specify the keyboard type. So imagine this text field was for an email. Well, I might want the keyboard when it pops up to have the little at symbol easily available to the user for an email address. So I could say that this is a text input type and then dot email address. Now there's different types we can use. If you add a dot right here, you can see all the different types we can use. We're going to go for email address. And when we do that and save it, if we click on this text field, you can see the little at symbol that wasn't there before. I think that was a comma by default, but because we've said that this should be an email address type, then it's put the at symbol there instead. All right. So what else can we do? We can obscure the text if we wanted to. So I could say obscure text and set that to be true. And this would be good for maybe a password. So if I save this now, you can see it turns to little dots. You see the letter momentarily when you click on it. Oops, let's click over here first like that just for a split second, but then it turns to a dot to hide those letters. All right, so we don't want to do that. I'm going to get rid of that. We'll keep this one in. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add a label to this because if I was to save this and just do a full restart over here, when we first load up the screen, we don't see anything here telling us what this should be. So I want a label to say, look, you could put your email address in here if you wanted to. The way we do that is by using the decoration argument, and that's going to be const input decoration. And inside this, we can pass through an argument to specify the label. Now the label is not just a string, we use a text widget. So text, and then inside that text widget, we can say something like email address. All right, so if I save this now, we should see that label, there it is. And when we click on this, the label goes up to give us room to type in an email address. Awesome. All right, so now we have this bog standard text field that we can type into and we've customized the keyboard, but how do we actually go about getting the information from that text field when a user types into it. So how would I grab this string right here and use it? Well, we could do that in a number of ways. The way I'm going to show you in this lesson is by using the on changed handler. And this is going to be a function which takes in the value inside this text field. Now on changed fires this function whenever the value changes. So if I type a new letter, oops, Keep forgetting to click over here. If I type a new letter over here, then that would trigger the unchanged function. If I delete a letter, it would trigger the unchanged function. Every time it changes, this function over here is going to fire. And this value will reflect whatever is inside the text field at that point in time when it fires. So what I'd like to do then is maybe store this value in a bit of state. So I'm going to create that bit of state right up at the top it's going to be a string. So let's come down here and say string. We'll call this email and make it private. That's what the underscore is for right here. And we're going to set that equal to an empty string to begin with. Now I want to update this value, this string value down here. Now the way we do that is by calling the set state function, firing a function inside that. And then we can say the underscore email is equal to the value that we get back right here. So that is the value inside this text field. So now every time that changes, we're updating this variable to keep track of that as well. All right. Now I can demo that by underneath the text field. First of all, putting a sized box to give us some breathing room. So const sized box, and um, we'll say the height of this is going to be 20 pixels. After that, we're going to do a text widget 
And then inside the text, we'll do a string. We'll say your email, then a colon, and then we're going to output a variable. So dollar sign, the variable name, underscore email. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So now, when we type into this over here, the value is going to change, right? So that means that this function fires. It takes in whatever the value is at that point in time. We call set state. And when we call set state, by the way, that means that the build function reruns and we update the value of the email to match the value of whatever is in here at the time. Now, since we're outputting that email down here and we're rebuilding every time that changes, we're going to see that reflect over here. You can see at the moment it just says your email because to begin with, it's an empty string. But if this now changes, it's going to update over here. Now, I'm going to just do a restart of the application first of all to make sure this all works. But now, watch down here as I type in. I could say Mario, and you can see it's updating in real time to reflect what we type in. So Mario at netninja.dev, for example, and we can see that right here. Cool. So there we go. That's how we can use a text field in the most basic form, how we can track what a user types into it using this onchanged function and a bit of state.